Hello. Can you hear me? I, di I'm, I didn't want to publicize this too much because um, just say yes or no if you can hear me. Oh, fantastic. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm so pleased. Thank you so much for joining in. I think um, there was roughly about 40 people, which is a lot more than I was expecting. I was expecting about 14, but I would have been happy with that. Thank you so much for joining in. Can you see how excited I am? <laughs> yeah, I know. Te technology at work. Um, I, I literally don't know what I'm doing. I, I just, somebody had mentioned, another Skillshare teacher had said, um, oh, I'm, I'm going to try this premiere thing. And I thought, oh, if she's going to try it, I'm going to try it. <laughs> because uh, that's just kind of who I am. It's like, you know, I've got nothing to lose. It's not like I've got like a million subscribers <laughs> on, on YouTube. Um, and I really, I know that I, it would be fantastic if it was like a Zoom call and we could um, chat more readily and... Uh, I really would love some feedback on the direction that uh, I'm going to take YouTube. Um, I, I will show you my sketchbooks. I have got my, I have got sketchbooks. But the reason why I kind of wanted to um, keep this kind of low key was um, I'm kind of feeling my way with YouTube at the moment, um, as you heard on the uh, the video that you just saw, the premiere, I have mixed feelings about Instagram at the moment. I love connecting, you know, I probably met most of you on Instagram or on Skillshare. And um, uh, I don't know really what's going on. Um, I know I'm not the only one who is having a hard time with Instagram at the moment. Um, I don't really want to post um, 10 second reels where there's a transition, 10 transitions in, um, you know, 10 seconds. There's just no point because art making does not take 10 seconds. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, where was I going with this? So I would like to use YouTube as a better way of connecting with you guys. Um, I mean, at the moment, I know you can't talk to me, but at least you can hear my voice and you can hear how excited I am. And um, gosh, what's what's happening in the messages? Oh, so I, I want to talk more about my sketchbook practice. Um, I don't really do, I do nice watercolours, I do quite nice watercolours, but I, I want to talk more about keeping a sketchbook because that is so dear to my heart. Um, you know, the, I think um, it's always there, it's like a constant in my life, it's like meditation, um, if I don't... Um, paint in my sketchbook I feel really kind of edgy and ratty so um are you are you guys are so sweet I'm so glad you're here um and I I want a better experience for myself and for you as well I hope that is making sense so far this is completely unscripted I only decided literally two hours ago, I was gonna do this live stream. So thank you very much for coming. Um, and I might, what I might do, if you are um, not subscribed to my newsletter, please do, um, hold on, I should I should type that in the, um, if, if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, I hope most of you are. What I might do is ask for a, um, Sorry, I, I might send out a questionnaire because I would want I want to serve you as um, I want you to think you're getting value for money. Um, I don't. Uh, you can tell I haven't rehearsed this. I can't find the newsletter. 
Um, I'm so sorry. I usually have it um, in my notes. Uh, da, da, da. No, that's not it. Try this, try this. Um, so, yeah, so if I might, I, I want to know what your pain points are when you keep a sketchbook. I, I will still sh show demos, but you know, I always show demos in my sketchbook. I'm not your traditional watercolorist. I've always been dabbling with, um, I'm gonna start showing you my sketchbooks. I've, I can't believe I've almost finished this one. Um, I've only got three pages left. I thought I, only, I literally only started this like two weeks ago. So <laughs> no, let me rephrase that. Um, yeah. So what have I written at the front? I don't know. Oh, I went to the Windsor and Newton archives and I wrote notes at the front of this. So I actually, um, you, you, you guys know, probably know that I have a, a book called Go With The Flow Painting. And um, at one point they said, oh, we need another project for um, the chapter with flowers. So I tested a few different ideas in this sketchbook. Um, I, I, I actually said, look, actually, can I include this in the book? And she said, um, and she needed, we needed something a little bit more colourful. I don't know what we went with. And this was another idea that I had as well. And yeah, so uh, there, I tried out various ideas and I showed it to my editor at the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Windsor and Newton Archives in, um, where is it? It's in West London. So it was, um, it was a really lovely event. I don't know if they're going to do it some more. Um, and so it's all watercolour and ink. You know, I might have to do a follow-up class. So, and this one was actually um, Curateke brush pen that I wet. So when, when you... Put water on it it spreads it's supposed to look like watercolor and that was very effective wasn't it and um oh this was ink so i used different colored ink here i don't know if, uh, if i put this on instagram but um some of the ink bled so i used a mixture of like turquoise ink or and then sort of this sap green ink and um i think I prefer this one. It's just a bit fresher. So this is the kind of things that I do. Um, I just muck about. Oh, Eliza, that's a really good question. You know, I go through phases. Honestly, I do. I I produce a pile of cack sometimes, and I I know I'm going to fetch the sketchbook that when I was having a hard time, and it ref it shows. Yeah, so it was actually this one. I, can't, I don't know if I've got a date on this one. 20, <laughs> July 2020, okay. Well, this was in the middle of COVID. Um, so I didn't know what was going on. I was working all the time. I was doing a load of food illustration. I just, and I was, obviously the kids were at home and uh, we couldn't go anywhere. And, and I think it was kind of affecting my mental health. And I don't think my output at this time was the best. So um, I think it reflects in what I was producing. Um, it, I think there's something very, especially these early ones, I think there's something very, I don't know, not dull. There's something a bit almost flat, deflated. I think I was deflated. I just wasn't feeling it. Um, so this is probably getting towards the autumn and I was trying to do sort of mixed media. I was, I worked, so I scanned this in and I worked it into Photoshop, not Photoshop, Procreate. And I was just trying out different things and I just, it, it just wasn't kind of working out for me. Um, 
Ah, now, something happened when I did this. So, Eliza, when you said you have phases, this was the beginning of another phase for me. I don't know what I was thinking that day. I probably had some ink, some of this pink ink, or it just arrived, or I saw it, or I bought it, I don't know. And I thought, I want to use that. And this was the best sketchbook spread I'd done like that whole year. <laughs> um, some full page spread. Um, just work straight to the edges. I don't I don't understand the question. Um, and then I think collage, you know, at college, I had always done, I had included collage, and it was almost like I had to go right back. I had to go back to basics in order to find myself again. This, yeah, and this was some of the best work. I, I think we have to take the rough with the smooth with sketchbooks. Know that the inspiration will return. And... During that time, go easy on yourself. You know, we were all having a hard time with COVID. And obviously this, this couldn't have come, um, this came at a really great time because, um, uh, gosh, it, it's almost like a, my memories are just mushed into one thing. So um, well, thank you so much, guys. And I was having such an amazing time. I love combining collage with mixed media. And somebody actually said to me, where did this come from? And I, and I said, this is, quite, this is what I did at college. I was always doing collage. And I've got a whole deck of um, tarot cards that my tutor <laughs> made me design. And it was almost, this is almost like going back to when I was 20, this type of stuff. Um, uh, and mix, uh, not mixed media, wax resist. I, it, 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 I, I just found so much joy in working like this again. And, and I don't, I think people were just kind of scratching their heads at the time thinking, what's going on? But I didn't care. This was where I was finding my joy. Oh, I love this one. I use some sommelier oil pastels as wax resist and they were so gorgeous and I the only thing is they they tend to um, rub off on my fingers they're not like um you know kids oil pastels which is what I used to um oh oh sorry I didn't understand about the the, the edges um so that must have been Halloween. And then I discovered, um, I can't remember the name of the of the Instagram handle, where they, they um, still here, still life. And I'd seen this, um, like, going round on Instagram. And I thought, I'll give it a go. And I loved it. I, I, I really got into it. And I, I, I just had all these bits. And I just, it, it didn't have to make sense. You know, the, the perspective is out and, um, oh, it was brilliant. Um, I just love work, working like this. Um, oh, I'm so glad you guys are helping each other out in the chat. You guys are fantastic. You guys are the best. I really love this one. I don't know. And this was actually, so this whole jar was collaged on. Somebody actually asked me, did you actually paint that as is? It's like, no, no, I stuck it on. But you can see it over there. <laughs> and the great thing about collage is um, if you don't like it, you just peel it off and start again. <laughs> I, I'm not overly keen on that one. I think I overworked it. And I think I overworked these as well. They're nice. I, I, ha I have a thing for lighthouses. It's something that... Um, um I return to it's like a like a theme these were nice weren't they is that the right way up um I know I what was I going to say about this 
what I was just trying to read the chat. It's like, no, some of it just doesn't make sense. Like I've I've coloured in some of the so the um the lily pads are collaged, but some of these are I just left blank. They're not painted on, I just left blank so that um, it contrasted more. And I, I, you know, the lily pad shapes are so distinctive. Um, which way am I going? Oh, was that the last one? And that, that's the last one. So I think that must have been Christmas. So this sketchbook is, um, what, what did I say? I started this in July. So I started this to at uh, the beginning of COVID and so I ended on a good note in in December in the winter of that first COVID year how did I work working in this big sketchbook oh I loved it because I think with collage especially um it's it's a lot easier to cut out bigger shapes and to stick them on than to cut out teeny weeny shapes but I do have the my chroma sketchbook which is one of my favorites. I've got this one here. So that was a moleskin. And this one is a 100% um, cotton from Hannah Muller. And they very kindly let me have um, this a, a little bit in advance. Uh, and I and I was just so, oh, I was like, oh, it's such a difference. I, I don't know that I'd use 100% cotton sketchbooks. I'd use 100% cotton, like loose watercolor paper. Um, da, 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 da. so yes, it was the other sketchbook was a mole scheme watercolor sketchbook, and this was the Hannah Muller 100% cotton sketchbook. And I, I, so if you didn't know about chroma or if you didn't take part in chroma, it was um, uh, I. 28 days I think so I, I said here are your prompts for 28 days and every other day I'd post a little video of me um oh I'm so glad to hear that um of me you sort of painting these and sometimes it go on social media and I still got a whole load of these on my phone and I would really love to develop another sketchbook course um but that's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was um I, I'm kind of having a go slow year because my son at the moment is in the middle of taking his final high school exams, A-levels, they're called in the UK, and he's had a really, really tremendously hard time. Uh, he also has ADHD, which kind of um, makes things a trickier. And I've had to give him so much support, So, but he is my son, and that's what I want to do for him. So I've kind of had to take a back seat with um, the art making and... Um, when I said I want to develop a course, I thought maybe I could have a course by now, but it's, you know, it's fine. These things take time and that's fine. And it's more important that my son is in a good space. Oh, this is my absolute favourite. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and sorry. I'm so excited to talk to you. I just could just talk about um, <laughs> sketchbooks. Um, I love this one. Uh, this I, There's something about this octopus. It's that I, he knows something or she knows something, don't you think? <laughs> um, and so uh, I gave out different prompts each day. So uh, it was seahorse and, and shrimp and stuff. And people could interpret it how they want. And I've got a real thing about kelp forests. Um, I, you know, it's not for everybody. I, I, I'm a... Uh, advanced scuba diver although I haven't dived since I had kids and I really really want to do more sea life there's actually a series there's a there's a, a challenge an art challenge next month which I'm going to take part in it's all about sea life are any of these from photos well yeah they probably they would have been reference photos for sure that all of these would have been from reference photos um, I think what a good video would be how to use reference photos, because obviously these were real, though. These I actually have these um, in my own collection. Um, um, like how to pick out and some. Um, no, no, these weren't real. <laughs> 
Um, although I did have roller skates like this. So all of these are references. I think most of these are references. Maybe that lamp is mine or my daughter's or something. So uh, I think um, it's interpreting images and what people I think get um, bogged down with is like they have they think they have to include everything and it's like no, just include what you want just include the, the brain is so good at um, working out what the heck is going on or it just makes a judgment call um, yeah yeah I, I would I've got so this is where I'm at this is um with YouTube is I I have big plans. I would love to produce a video a week, but I technically, not technically, like physically cannot do a video um, edit. I can film, like stack batch film, but I am at the process of um, trying to find an editor to help me so that I can produce a, a video every week or every 10 days at least. Um, and I've got so many ideas for YouTube videos and it's just the, the technical aspect and also um, just it just takes time, uh, just knowing who to ask or where to ask. Um, oh, thank you very much. I'm going to see how I feel about this. Um, maybe I will keep it up. I don't know if the if, if the um, the chat is going to be there. I don't know how these things work. That's why I needed to try it out with you guys. And so you guys are like the the OG of my first live stream. <laughs> these were all um, were, were from um, uh, real. All these are real. So all these spoons are my own vintage spoons that I've been collecting for years. Yes, you are guinea pigs. Uh, I didn't want too many people to turn up in case it all went pear-shaped. And don't you think, don't you think this is a different experience to seeing it on Instagram? You know, on Instagram, I can make it look pretty. I can play with the lighting and the filter, but I'm having so much fun talking to you about this. It's so different. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, oh, I, I do, I do think this live stream is being recorded and, um, I think it, it aut automatically uploads. There'll be something at the end. You know, I think it's a bit like a zoom call. Um, yeah, it does seem more personal. I really like these. I, I, so I don't think I posted these, but these, these were part of the chroma prompts. I don't know if Eva ever will remember them. <laughs> um, and this was using the dagger brush oh I had so much fun I'm trying to find my dagger brush today oh I've got so many sketchbooks oh and I love these this is like whoa because I don't do pretty pretty flowers I don't do pretty pretty watercolors so um oh I'll just carry on I'd, I'd um These are nice. I like these. So this must have been my second chroma. And I think this would have been done in um, Morocco. That, that was where we stayed. And that was some of the, um, these are some of the antiques that they had at the, the venue. Um... <laughs> you have all the watercolour brushes, but always use my water brushes. <laughs> um, oh, I loved seeing all the antiques there. There was so much to, to paint, and that, that was one of my um, my favourite afternoons, just, just chilling out with my paints and this sketchbook. Uh, this was part of the Liz Steele thing. I had, would you believe I had never done... A color chart of my own watercolors <laughs> it was just like oh I'm just gonna you know see what happens but it was very interesting to see um to see them laid out like this you know um and I realized how kind of little I knew about the theory of watercolors or the theory or how pigments mixed or that some of the graduation um 
So um, I, I don't think I finished Liz's course, <laughs> but she, she gives so much. It's wonderful. Um, so what I wanted to, I, I am aware of the time. I wanted to do, so I kind of, I got about here, didn't I? Oh, so this is Liz Watkins. I don't know if some of you follow her on Instagram and I'm going to, um, yeah, Liz, Liz is fantastic. I, freak, I freaking love Liz Steele's courses. I, I've i been saying to myself for a year, I'm going to take a sabbatical and I just can't. <laughs> I just haven't because I, I need as an artist to keep on learning. I, I, I can't stay static. I said that in the video um, and I'm actually going to be going to a, a workshop, a, a, a sketch walk with Liz next week. I think it's next week in London near Liverpool Street. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. This is uh, the inside of the Botanical Gardens in Cambridge. Um, and this is one of the techniques that I saw Liz still used is to use the negative to fill in the negative space. So this was going into the tropical part of the greenhouse. And um, this was, <laughs> I was sat there on a little stool. And this was where, when I turned a corner, this was the view that I saw. And it was, I loved it in there. I could have stayed there all day long. I, I, need, I need to go back. Um, I, I, you know, I, I, it just reminded me of being a student because I got sent there for a whole week to draw when I was 18. <laughs> Uh, I went to college in Cambridge. Um, oh, did you? Do you live in Cambridge? Wow. Um, uh, this is, I went to visit my friend Nick Squirrel in Tunbridge Wells and we, we had lunch. Uh, it was gorgeous. It was lovely. And uh, this was, I... So late last year, I was I was just saying just now that I really needed kind of a reset because I had been working on that book and I and it, it sort of I used so much energy on that book I just needed to calm down. So I joined Katie Moody's Patreon and Emma Carlyle's Patreon, and if you look at my other sketchbook tours, um, you'll see that how much they appear. And I get so much out of it because it's, I think it's low pressure because you turn up for an hour and you fill up, or an hour and a half, you fill up several pages of your sketchbook because they're time studies. And I, I think I was like going back to basics. It's like I was going back to being a student again. I, I just, and you can see the, 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 pre-prepared sketchbook pages in the background. I've actually started preparing this one. This is, um, this. I'm reserving this one for animals. I know Emma Carlyle had one, um, a, a Patreon session of uh, animals just uh, a few days ago, and I'm gonna watch the repeat of that. So I've pre-prepared these pages using inks, and um, I hope to elaborate um, in a, in a YouTube video in the future, how I do these. Um, well, I, I hope to do the Sea Life Challenge. So you can see th this is how my pages um, start out. And um, I just draw on top of them and it saves me a lot of time. And it means that I, I've got more time to try and figure things out. Um, do I sketch with a pencil first? Uh, if you go, if you watch my video about the Luminance pencils, that's as about as much sketching as I do. So I use a colored pencil rather than a, a, like an HB pencil. Um, uh, da, 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 sketch, but I'm still learning negative space. Okay, so this, this is a Patreon session with Emma Carlisle and she, um, I think this might have been five minutes. <laughs> this might have been a five minute study and um, these maybe were 10 minutes. And I really love time studies. I Part of me wants to go back and just make them look a little bit prettier. But part of me thinks, no, leave them. Leave them as they were, because it is a record of what you did. 
there's no point in and um like who who are you doing it for if you want to make them pretty um so i'm just going to leave them i hope that made sense <laughs> And these were slightly longer studies. So this is getting, um, I, I posted these um, uh, just a few days ago. Oh, da, 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 da. oh bye. bye. Bye, Eliza. Thank you so much for joining me. I, I think you're terrific. Thank you so much for supporting me all these years. Uh, the time studies are lovely. Uh, are those brush pens too? I just use whatever I've got at hand. Um, I think if, I'm doing it live at the time. I probably do go. I'd probably add some brush pen, but I think something like this I watch later so I can take a little bit more time or I can think about it. You know, I can pause the video at the beginning and think, hmm, how am I going to do this? <laughs> oh, thank you so much, guys. I know I've been taking up a lot of your time. So I'm just going to um, show you the rest of the sketchbook and then I will say goodbye. Uh, uh, this one, I liked the house. I like these houses. I think they're in Dorset. This one was a freaking hot mess. I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? What was I even thinking? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> this is, this is, I, I use these pages for the, uh, the video on Luminance. Uh, so I just had, <laughs> I needed two camera angles. So I did the swatching twice. <laughs> Um, this was a lovely class I took with uh, Guglag, I think. Um, I, she, she's Icelandic. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she is a terrific Skillshare class. Really, really love it. And um, ah, now these I started in um, the most, I think it was Emma Carla, the last but one Patreon session with Emma Carlisle. And these were like 10 minutes, I think. I don't know if I've written that book. 15 minutes. And this was brush pen. Some of so what I normally do is slap down some watercolors, like, oh gosh, there's there's some cactus. And then I work into it uh, with brush pen for the negative space. And then um, this was another time study. What was this? 20 minutes, this one. So again, I use a lot of the negative space to sort of um I might distort, not distort, um muck about with the image so that I can pick out things like the the, the urns and use negative space for that. I, I think that one turned out really well. Uh, this I, I this one was like a bit messy for me. How, how long was this? This was probably about 20 minutes. And the it was from a map crunch and I, I think the picture was quite fuzzy and um it, it, it kind of threw me, but it's kind of quite impressionistic, you know, it looks a bit kind of round doofy ish. And this, uh, uh, there is a whole load of Landscape Art Club on Instagram that I have missed uh, because I've been so busy. So this is a work in progress. This is uh, some rice paddy fields in Indonesia. I don't know if it's Bali, but um, you've, this is, um, I don't, you often, probably don't see this very often, but this is how it all starts off. I pre-prepared the pages and I use a lot of line work to kind of indicate direction. Oh, this is um, uh, Emma Block. These two, these two images were from Emma Block's Patreon session and it was really, really lovely. Yeah, I, you know, I've got so many ideas. I did this today. I've got so many ideas for future YouTube and newsletter, but one, I need to be a lot more organized so that I really look at my timekeeping so that I'm a lot more productive. I've got to make sure that my son gets to university and settles. Um, um, and then three, I think three is just, I, I am working on my next phase of this um, artist's art business. Um, I've been at this now, so uh, autumn 2020, autumn 2013, I took my first online course. So it's been 10 years since I returned to the illustration, not in, well, sort of creative field. 
Uh, I took a lot of time out for my kids when they were tiny. So I feel like this is a natural time for me to think about and put together a, a better package that reflects where I am now. So I, at the moment, I'm having my website completely overhauled and redesigned and so that it, it reflects the fact that I teach a lot now. You know, before I was more into food illustration, editorial illustration, and I don't do that as much now. I still, I still, um, you know, I, I just last week I, I, I've worked with the Boston Globe. Um, what? So I'm, I'm working with some more suit packaging. It, it is ongoing, but um, I get so much joy from from hanging out with you like this and from um, my sketchbooks. And this week, this, sorry, this weekend, I'm going to have my own mini sketch walk in where I think um, <laughs> what I think Rody's going to come and it's going to be. Um, I think it's going to be a really great weekend. So I'm going to figure out how to save this live stream and I will put it up on my YouTube channel. Keep your fingers crossed because this is the first time that I've done it. Um, Melissa, I am so going to come to see you and Lisa in Florida. So get ready for that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means um, so much to me. I'm incredibly grateful to have this, this time with you and you've, you've given over some of your time to me. So um, keep on watching this space. I'm not going to leave Instagram, but I just believe that doing things like this is just so much more fulfilling for me. And I think you guys probably feel a different energy as well. You can you can hear it in my voice. So um, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Um, stay amazing. All of you are just so beautiful. I'm going to end this live stream and hopefully it's recorded. And um, bye. Bye, everybody.